and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I kind of fell off the favourites wagon for a bit and I missed out on December and January. But I'm back, it's February and I've got some really great things that I want to show you. As always, I've linked absolutely everything in the caption box below. So let's go. As well as a bit of fashion, fitness and beauty, I've got a few little tech accessories to go in there so I thought I'd kick things off with those. A few weeks ago I posted a flat lay onto my Instagram account which featured a load of rose gold accessories and brushes and things like that that I had. And people went a bit mad for one item that I posted and it was this phone. It's a rose gold, I think it's called a pop phone. It's not an actual phone, basically it's like, kind of like headphones I guess. Um, you plug it into the bottom of your iPhone and it's got a little button here so if anyone calls you, you just press the button. Hello! What I really like about it is it looks nice on my desk. I don't have a lot of stuff on my desk but I kind of think that you need to have a phone um, and I don't have a home phone line, we just use our mobiles. So this is the next best thing. Um, so yeah, it's really, really pretty and I really, really like it. And I got it for about eight pounds off of eBay. So it was a bit of a bargain and I couldn't really say no to it. Now, a few months ago, I bought my first ever Mac, which was a MacBook Air 11 inch. And ever since then, I've been trying to find a MacBook sleeve for it. And I can't find any nice ones anywhere. Um, there's not really any nice designer ones and there's not really any nice just plain ones. And I'd been searching for ages and I didn't want to ruin my Mac, so I just kept looking, I didn't give up, and then one day I stumbled across the perfect MacBook sleeve. And it's from Kate Spade, and I'm loving Kate Spade at the moment, I keep buying loads of stuff from her. And it's got the polka dot, sort of the signature polka dot, and then it says Kate Spade, New York, in the middle, and that's in gold, and then on the inside it's red like that and yeah I just think it's really cute and it's really really strong and cushioned a little bit as well so that if I do drop my Mac which I'm a little bit prone to do and um, it's not too bad hopefully um, so yeah and it fits in my handbag really nicely still because I have handbags the size of the earth and um, yeah and it was a bargain as well it was another I think eight or nine pounds that I found on eBay and um, it's the nicest one that I found and I use it so much whenever I'm on the train whenever I'm going anywhere I've always got my MacBook with me because I never know when I've forgotten to post something so I'm finding that really really useful at the moment next up is the only item fashion related in this month's favorites and it actually only arrived this morning um, it's my first ever purchase by the designer and I was so excited for them to arrive and I'm just, oh, I just can't wait to wear them. Um, but they are my first shoe purchase from Sophia Webster. Now, some of her designs for me are a little bit out there, but these were just so nice. They're gonna look so nice in summer. Can you see those okay? They are the Sophia Webster Rico heels and they are in black suede and they've got patent leather detailing and then they're lace up at the back. Lumi thinks that these are toys and it's really really annoying because it makes me want to cry when she pulls on them. They are just so beautiful and now I'm kind of hooked and there's another pair that I want which I just can't justify at the moment. <laughs> But hopefully in the near future I'll be able to make them mine. I think they'd make really good summer heels. But then so will these. So I'm hope Lumi! Next up is some beauty products that I've been loving throughout February. First up is the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm. Now it's not actually nipple balm, it is for your lips. But I think it started out as nipple balm. Um, it's kind of similar to the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Except the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream tastes disgusting. <laughs> Um, I really really love the product but you cannot eat anything with that stuff on your lips whereas this one doesn't taste quite so bad and I love the little tube of it, it goes nicely into my handbag and I'm prone to get really dry lips when my lipstick wears off and this is an absolute saviour at those times. I think it costs about £11 but that might be for a bigger tube, I'm not too sure. I'll link it below anyway but I'm absolutely loving that at the moment and it's replaced my 8 hour cream like you wouldn't believe. Now those of you that follow me on Twitter would have seen that a few weeks ago I asked for some mascara recommendations. 
I've never really been very brand loyal when it comes to mascara so I always struggle to know which one to go for and recently I've been using the Benefit Their Real Mascara and your suggestions kind of told me to stick with what I was doing however the people from Benefit kindly sent me their new one which is the Roller Lash and my problems with their real mascara was that it was a nightmare to get off. It was really good at making your eyelashes long and thick, but I just couldn't get it off at night and I was always left with some of my eyelashes. Whereas the roller lash kind of does the same thing, but it's a lot easier to get off and I kind of feel like it makes them a little bit longer and a little, they, they tend to hold their style a bit better. Their reel was quite heavy and sometimes it would make my eyelashes lose the curl a little bit because I have to use an eyelash curler because my eyelashes are dead straight. My hair's frizzy as anything but my eyelashes are dead straight. It's always the way. Which brings me on to my next item in the beauty category and it's this eyelash curler and this one is from a new brand called Lottie. I can't believe how well this curls my eyelashes. I've been using a simple model zone one that I picked up from Boots um, and it had definitely seen better days and then I was given this one. It's one of those ones that when you put your eyelashes in it kind of hurts when you curl them and you know that when it hurts it's always going to hold really well because it's so strong. So yeah, I've kind of had my eyelashes pimped this month. And next up is some more eye products. Um, apparently I was loving eye products in February, who knew? First up is the Clarins Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I've been using this product for the last few weeks and it's a really, really good eye makeup remover and it doesn't sting my eyes. I think I've got quite sensitive eyes and a lot of other eye makeup removers, even though they were meant for eyes, when I used them, it used to make them sting. And this one doesn't and it removes my makeup really, really well. It feels like just water and it even gets rid of the benefit, their real mascara, which takes some elbow grease usually. It feels really really gentle and it gets rid of all of my eye makeup so it's everything that I want from an eye makeup remover really. And finally on the subject of eyes it is an eye cream. Now I hate to admit it but I am at that age where I have to use eye creams. Um, I am on the wrong side of 25, it's not something that I'm proud of and it's not something that I like to shout about too often, but I am. And I have been using eye creams for the last year and this one is also from Clarins and it's the Clarins Eye Revive Beauty Flash which refreshes, tightens and brightens. And I use this one because I look like a puffer fish in the morning. I've got puffy eyes, puffy lips, puffy everything. So at least I can use a product that helps get rid of my puffy eyes. And finally, in the fitness category, there's only one product that I'm really loving this month. And it is the PhD Body Sculpt. And this is for the active woman. And it has a high caffeine formula, green tea extract, and alpha lip... I'm not going to try and say that. Acid. I've taken these on and off over the years, but I've only really started taking them religiously um, for the last couple of weeks when I realised that the days are getting lighter and spring is on its way and if spring is on its way it means that summer's on its way and I'm going to have to up my game if I want to be happy in a bikini this summer. So I've been taking these purely really because of the high caffeine because A it gets me up in the morning and because the caffeine speeds up my metabolism so that's always going to help with weight loss. But it also comes with loads of mineral, vitamins and minerals that every woman kind of needs on a daily basis anyway. So they're really, really good. And they're quite fairly priced when it comes to supplements, to be quite honest. And they're just easy to take at the end of the day. I just pop them by my bedside table and a glass of water. And in the morning, as soon as I sort of open one of my puffy eyes, I just pop two in my mouth and that's that. So there you have it, that's all the products and items that I've been loving from February. As usual, everything is linked in the description box below. If you have any products that you've been loving throughout February, do let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. And you can subscribe below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!